Hi, I'm Dr. May Seibel, menopause expert and editor of My Menopause Magazine. I want to talk to you today about some information to help you when you go to see your doctor and are in need of vaginal estrogen. Vaginal estrogen is used to treat atrophic vaginitis or thinning of the vaginal lining. And typically what happens, as I've explained in other videos, is that during the change of transition into menopause and beyond, when estrogen levels drop, the vaginal tissue will get narrower and shorter. And that can be relieved with estrogen. So one of the ways to do it is just by using a topical or a local estrogen. And by that I mean ways to put it into the vaginal canal. So let me explain to you because whatever you decide, you're going to want to talk about it with your doctor, see what the benefits and risks are for you, but this will help you when you go in to understand what your options are and some of the up or downsides and how to have that discussion when you're talking in the short window of time you get in an office visit. So one of the ways you can do it is with a vaginal tablet. This is a product called Vagifem. It is a tablet that comes with a little adapter that you release and it lets the pill into the uh, vaginal canal. You insert it into the vagina. Typically this is given once a day for about two weeks and then twice a week after that. The good side about it is it's not messy. It is a very, very low dose. Very, very little of it gets into the bloodstream, but the dose is very low, so for some people, it may not be enough to completely relieve all of their symptoms. But it's one thing that you can consider when you talk to your doctor. The second one is a use of a medication that comes as a, a cream. And the creams come in two sorts. There is an estradiol cream and a Premarin cream. The difference is estradiol is a specific bioidentical estrogen. It's one estrogen, it's estradiol. And Premarin is a conjugated estrogen, meaning it's a connection or a combination of a number of different estrogens into one product. The difference is, in terms of the package inserts, is the estradiol cream is typically, typically given with an applicator. You screw it into the top, squeeze the tube, the applicator pushes back to a quarter or a half or whatever dose you and your doctor decide on. Then you place that into the vaginal canal, plunge it in and the tissue uh, in the estrogen is released. The Premarin is done exactly the same way. The package insert for Premarin is, says that you take it for three weeks every day and then one week you don't take it. I don't usually use it that way. I typically give it to women for about seven to ten days, maybe for two weeks. And after that, or uh, after that you can just simply take it twice a week and from then on use it for twice a week and that's all you have to use it. The same is true for the estradiol cream. You use it for two weeks and then after you do that every day for two weeks, you can just place it in the, into the vagina twice a week and that will sustain the tissue. What you have to remember is, is that after you stop using any of these, whatever their benefits are, it's going to go back to what it was just before you started using it in about two or three months. Now, the reason that people like the Premarin cream or the estradiol cream is because it's very effective. The problem is, is that on the downside is that number one, from just a, aesthetically, it will leak out. So it can be a little bit messy for people. They may not like that. And the second thing is, is that you will get some blood levels into your bloodstream. So if you're trying to avoid estrogen in your bloodstream because maybe you have an estrogen sensitive cancer or for any other reason that you and your doctor think it may not be the best idea, then realize with the creams it's going to get in at least to some extent. The third approach is a suppository and that is an estri uh, usually an estriol, a bioidentical one called estriol or estriol. And that can be placed in the vagina. Again, usually you put these things in the vagina every day for about two weeks and then about twice a week after that. The thing I want to comment in is that estriol has gotten some discussion as though it is entirely safe. 
realize that there's no data that says it is absolutely safer than any of the other ones that I've mentioned. And because of that, if you get an equivalent amount, in other words, estriol is about 10% as strong as estradiol. If you get 10 times the amount to make them bioequivalent, in terms of their strength, you're going to get the same amount of impact. So whether it's a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers, if it's a pound, it's going to have the same impact. Finally, there is the E-ring or the S-ring, which is like a diaphragm. It has estradiol embedded into the ring and it lets out a very slow dose. And this stays in the vagina for three months at a time. So you put it in, you can leave it in, you can pull it out to wash it off or clean it, but basically you put it right back in. And it's not a contraceptive in the sense of birth control. It has nothing to do with the diaphragm and birth control. It just looks like a diaphragm. And if you are taking it, again, with the S-ring, you will also get some of the blood into, some of the estrogen into your bloodstream. Now obviously, if you were to take a pill or a patch or you were to rub estrogen onto your skin or spray it or however else you use estrogen topically or orally, you will get some to the vaginal tissue, but you're going to get a whole lot more to the bloodstream than you are to the vagina, much less because it's got to go all the way through the blood vessels down to the local tissues. And if you start at the bottom, right at the source, you're going to get the biggest impact locally with the least impact on the rest of your body. Now, it is possible that if you get enough of these estrogens locally, it can cause the lining of the uterus, if you've not had a hysterectomy, it can cause the lining of the uterus to build up slightly and you might have to add a progesterone to it. So talk to your doctor if you have your uterus in place and you take one of these vaginal estrogens, do you have to worry about protecting your uterine lining or checking it occasionally? It's something you want to talk about. So this is how to use local estrogen, what to talk about with your doctor when you go in. And there's lots of more information like this on My Menopause Magazine in the Apple Newsstand. Go to MyMenopauseMagazine.com. It'll take you right to the Apple Newsstand. Or if you want to see it in another form on the internet, MyMenopauseMag.com and you can find information there.